Hey guys, um, please remember to like, share and subscribe. I always forget to say that, but I'm just cutting blueberries because I'm going to germinate them indoors. I've got my peat today. I needed acidic soil, so that's what you need. Peat. Because my raspberries, yeah, they're growing lush. Getting a lot of raspberries. Just blueberries. Because I ain't got acidic soil. So I just have to buy peat. There's only a 10 litre bag. That's only like what? Six. Mm, probably about $8. Something like that. It's not bad. So I've just cut. As you can see. Can you see that? It's got like really bad focus, hasn't it? Put the seeds there. Oh, I'm gonna put the seeds on top and put more. If I had more clear cups, I just have to eat my mandarins. If I put them all in there, hopefully I'll get some root and get some out of it. Because I, I love my blueberries. I could eat blueberries every day. I'm just waiting for it to all bloody what happen. See, that one's not got many seeds in that one, but I still put it in there. I need to get some... I've got a 10 litre bag of peat. Lightly sprinkle soil on top. Gently pat it down. Don't, don't make it change sides which way it's facing because you wouldn't get anything through it. And just give it a lightly sort. And the good thing is. The pH of the my water is 6.7, so that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good for this because you need a high pH. Gonna sit in the bottom. So this bloody fly is going around everywhere. I have to use fly killer. I hate flies. Bloody hate flies. Yeah, so I've got to do more gardening. I I've just I've just put um peat all around my blueberry bushes because they need acidic soil. So I need to. Make sure they grow, because I ain't getting a lot of it. Oh, they're growing, but there's no fruit on it. It's just rubbish, but... Yeah, well, she's crazy, but... Crazy. Today, I'm just tidying up. And growing, like I always do. I don't know why I don't use my tablet. I have bought a tablet, Amazon tablet, but I am gonna get a HP, is it Chromebook or something? I've never had one of those. I used to have a PC, but that's yeah, just that years ago. Probably about 17 years ago, something stupid like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm old. I ain't young man no more. I'm 37, I'm 38 this year. Fuck, next month. 38, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, so I'm growing everything. I'm, I can do raspberries if I want, but I forgot any raspberries. I don't know if I have actually. I know I've got apples. I've got apple trees in the garden, so I can grow my own apples. 
how much money you save on groceries is unbelievable. I've got tomatoes out there. Most people go and spend what? Over a month or over a year, you'll probably spend about 80 quid on tomatoes. So that's 80 quid you save there for yourself. Strawberries. Most people just go and buy a pack of strawberries and they think, oh, that's only £2.30. Yeah, £2.30, but how many packs are you getting that? All works out. If you want to save money, grow your own. Pandemic, and all the prices have gone up of everything, so growing your own, there's a lot of people doing it now, so I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I just grow my own fruit. Buy fruit and just regrow it from the fruit itself. So hopefully this, this needs to be put in, well, says in good sunlight, but it's bloody cloud. It's cloudy at the moment. So I don't know. But yeah, please like, remember to like, subscribe and share. The share, like, and subscribe, whatever. So, yeah, please, if you could do that, I'm not, I haven't been on it for that long, but I like to teach people. I'm not exactly a great teacher, but at the end of the day, it's good to learn that. I don't know why they don't teach that in school, growing agriculture. Come off it, you can grow your own fruit. Most people don't know how to grow their own fruit. I do. I've grown blueberries, I've grown rhubarb, I've grown, I've got apple trees going in the garden. So I can grow my own fruit. I just need to pass it on to someone who wants to learn how to do it, because I will show you. Properly show you. Just make sure when you're growing blueberries, you've got acidic acid um, soil, like peat. That's good for... Don't put that around raspberries, because raspberries is not. But, so just grow blueberries in one pot, and just use a different soil. Neutral, or miracle grow. You can even use that, that's pretty good, but I don't think that's high in acidic acids. I don't think so. And don't put vinegar in it. Do not put vinegar in it. People think, oh, that's, that's acidy. That kills the other micro, micro, uh, micro, whatever. It, it kills that. So you, whoever's going to put, you're just going to kill the plant. So that's kind of a waste of time. Just put peat. Get natural fucking, you can get, you can buy. I think it might be, is it sulfur? Or something, something should have like that, but, but I don't mind. It's the first time I've got peat and I just put blueberries in that. And I just, I just have to eat that because it's just clear pot so I can see it grow. I've got to put it at the front window so it gets sunrise. So that's what, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Alright, I'm just going to end this video. Um, Alright, yes. I'll press that.